With me is Robert from AMD. Hello, everyone. And we're going to talk a little bit about the announcement we made yesterday. So yesterday we announced the new Area 51 Threadripper Edition desktop, and there's some reverb going on that I'm going to manage somehow. It was like a lightsaber with the sound. Oh, it's, it's us. We're too close. All right. <laughs> That's about the, the, the force of the great partnership. Yes, that's right. It's, that's what it's it is, the, the vibrations. Uh, it's the force that binds us all together. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, it is. So, guys, uh, yesterday we talked about the new Area 51 Red River Edition desktop. Um, it will be available as of July 27th. We do have a demo over here, which you can check out if you're at three. Um, Robert, can you tell us a little bit about uh, Ryzen and Ryzen Red River? Um, I'm sure the crowd is curious to know where it all came from, how it got started. Sure, so um, started in March when we released the Ryzen CPU, uh, we wanted to create this multi-core processor that, that mostly does gaming, but can also do some heavy lifting when people do anything else on their computer, which people are streaming, people are rendering, people are creating videos for YouTube. This stuff happens all the time, right? Yeah. Uh, so having uh, four cores on a CPU is not enough for well, those things at speed. Well, I mean, it's great if you're a straight up gamer. Just right? gamer. Yeah, um, and if you're a hardcore gamer, four cores is awesome too. But some people, they do they a whole lot more. more than just game on their system. That's right. So there are people out there that like to, you know, uh, make games from scratch. So they might use 3D modeling applications right. to design characters, Absolutely. to build storylines, to edit video. Um, and then there are some gamers that, you know, they, that they, they game, they record, they stream all at the same time. Um, and some people just want the best of the best. And that's what this is all about, right? We're bringing to you guys the new best from AMD in our Area 51 platform. That's right. So uh, those people who, when they saw Ryzen, they, they said, this is still not enough for me. You've got two memory channels, I need more. You're giving me 40 PCI Express lanes, I need more. You've got eight cores, I still need more. So Threadripper, Ryzen Threadripper, that's that's why it exists. There are people out there who need more than eight cores, so we gave them up to 16. 16 cores. Yeah, 16 cores, 32 threads. Uh, they wanted quad okay. channel memory, so we've got that on Ryzen Threadripper. Um, and then 64 PCI Express lanes. So if you wanted to run three GPUs with uh, 16 lanes of PCI Express, you can do that. You can still have NVMe drives and SATA yeah. disks. And, and that's a good point. So, so the new Area 51, the Threadripper, Red Ripper Edition desktop. That's right. Um, is so for the first time, Area 51 will also have an M.2 NVMe slot as well. Yeah. So we've been listening to you guys. Area 51 has not had the capability of a PCIe SSD drive. With this new platform, you will. So you'll be able to have the incredible performance of a PCIe SSD and tons of storage space on the storage cabinet, where you can fit up to five extra drives. As well. So that's like what, five drives plus. An M.2 drive, that's six total storage drives on an Area 51. That's pretty awesome. Um, and, and, and our users are going to need that. They're yes. going to want that, right? So people that want this kind of performance, can you tell us a little bit more about the kinds of applications sure. that, that might benefit from a Threadripper platform? So uh, anybody that's interested in 3D modeling, uh, 3D rendering, digital audio workstations, uh, if you're an IT administrator that runs lots of virtual machines, if you want to do... Uh, 2D artwork, any any sort of creative application scales beautifully with cores, or even even game streaming scales with cores. The more cores you throw at OBS, uh, the better quality preset you can have. So if you're a game streamer, just throwing gobs of CPU horsepower at yeah. that works beautifully. And then you can still game on the side. We have tons of cores available, so you could put eight cores on your creative app and another eight cores on your game and now you're doing your rendering, which would take hours, and still using your computer at the same time with no slowdowns, which is huge. Yeah, that's awesome. And you know, so he mentions, you know, these applications that are core hungry, right? Yeah. We're actually gonna do something really cool. All the Area 51s, the Red River editions, we're gonna factory overclock all of them. And we're gonna factory overclock all of the core. It's not gonna be like one core is overclocked, or a set of the cores, all 16 cores and all 32 lots of threads will be factory overclocked yeah. when, you, when you can receive the system, no questions asked. So that, that's killer performance right there, right? So for, for any of you guys that really care about core count, that you know you love your games, 
you love your VR, but you also are a gamer that likes to create or a creator that likes to game, um, this is going to be an amazing platform for you guys. Uh, and because of the actual the chip size and, and, and the power that this whole platform takes, we actually even incorporated new liquid cooling unit into, into there. So we actually Quiet. have our most powerful liquid cooling unit ever. That's right. um, I mean, if you look at it, we, we have a system over there, the, the, the radiator and that thing is about 48 millimeters wide. Um, it uses a 120 millimeter fan, uh, and it's a great, it, it's got a 50,000 hour life cycle. So incredible. So just a little while, man. Just yeah. a little while, <laughs> uh, which is incredible. So yeah. again, you know, Air 51 is kicking ass. Um, great announcement today. Again, and we also have OEM exclusivity. So, you know, when this launches, uh, Alienware.com will be the first place ever that you can go, go ahead and buy it. And I'm talking about a complete platform, the complete package ordered with a delivery date. And then, you know, you can call that Christmas if you'd like at that point. <laughs> well, it's Christmas when my Threadripper shows up. All right. All right. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it is. It is. So, It'll yeah. Happen. So, again, incredible part. Actually have the, the processor from... Uh, <laughs> From yesterday's announcement. I was wondering where yeah, you were hiding. You wanna, you wanna yeah, I show do. it off. So uh, here is Threadripper. This thing is a monster. I love that. It, this is our 16 core chip. Uh, this is a pre production mechanical sample. The final retail model will have laser engraved Threadripper right on the top. Looks great. We showed that chip at Computex. So this is uh, our highest end, best of the best CPU. Uh, the most number of PCI Express lanes, the fastest clock speeds we could put into a chip, uh, the most amount of memory channels. It's going to be a beast. I'm really excited about this. Yeah. So we'll just put that bad boy I'm pumped right too. there. I'm pumped too. So, you know, um, over the years, I mean, since 96, Alienware's been cranking out amazing desktops. Area 51 has won, I don't know how many, but I, I asked earlier, and it's over the hundreds in, in awards over the years. Uh, so we're really proud of the chassis. You know, it launched in October of 2014, uh, but it, it's the right platform to support this hardware. If you ever want to perform upgrades, if you ever want to add graphics cards, easy. It's 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 a uh, it's perfect for the DIY guy, and it's also perfect for for anyone who's looking for the best of the best, and they just want to order it, get it in their door. Maybe you don't have the time to build your own. Maybe you don't have the time to perform upgrades. Uh, it's a one-stop shop for massive performance. So we're really excited. Simplicity is greatly appreciated. So you, so you said you said uh, something about 64 PCIe lanes, is I that did. right? That's right. Man, so tell me about that. I mean, <laughs> how is that used? Like, what, what can we build with that sure. kind of a setup? So a, a traditional desktop CPU might have 40, 32 PCI Express lanes somewhere in there. And you would typically run one, maybe two GPUs, and then you're out of PCI Express lanes. So you wouldn't be able to put in an NVMe drive, for example, which is the fastest SSD. Or you would run out of lanes to put in a capture card. Or you would run out of lanes for a wireless network card. You're just limited by that. Uh, so if you are, if you need more, if you are the kind of person who's like, I need every GPU I put in the system to have 16 PCI Express lanes available, and I want RAID, NVMe drives, and there's still room for more on Threadripper. Uh, you can do that, right? Yeah. Uh, PCI Express is the the IO for for high performance parts in a system. So to just uh, and every Threadripper has 64 PCI Express lanes. No matter which one you buy, you will not have to go upwards in our product stack to get more lanes because we don't think that should be a choice you have to make. We should just give that to you. That should be default, and so that's the choice we made with Threadripper. Awesome, man. That's amazing. So um, I think we're at a point where maybe we want to take a little bit of Q&A. I think we do. Um, so, you know, uh, does anybody have any questions about the Threadripper platform? Did you see me? Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll give it back to you. Cool. <laughs> yeah, how much RAM can it handle? You said quad? Yeah, quad so channel. great question. We didn't mention that. So we'll be able to support a quad channel configuration up to 64 gigs of memory in a quad channel configuration. Um, that, that's pretty massive. Uh, I believe it's, what is it, 29? Wait. Yeah, y'all have to share. Uh, in terms of the maximum supported memory by, uh, by Threadripper, it's much higher. Than, I think 256 gigabytes okay. is what we support on the chip. So uh, if you're running a ton of virtual machines, just throw gobs of RAM and cores at it. It's a channel. 
Yeah, quad channel, 256 gigabytes of memory. And just for asking a question, you get a free boom Alienware. And it's only day one. Yes, boom. <laughs> oh, we got a question over here. Oh, yeah, here you go. You talked about uh, being able to designate certain cores for gaming while you're rendering with other cores. Is that done at the OS level, or does the app have to support being able to configure, hey, I just want to use four cores right now. Well, at what level is that, is that controlled? You can do that in Windows 10. There's also a really great third-party utility called Process Lasso that I use that will do that automatically for you when it detects uh, the app start. Okay, here's another question. Uh, would it be inappropriate for me to throw money at you right now and grab one of the systems? Uh, everything up until the grab the system part, I'm totally okay with. It. Was, that, was that a real question? I don't know. <laughs> if I get money, it's a real question. Okay, here. But okay, real question. Real question. Sorry. So, uh, when does this come out, or is when is the Red Ripper available? Or that is an excellent question. Can't say the exact date yet, but availability is this summer. Awesome. Um, oh, there you go. Fantastic. All right, yeah, so we will take, we're done? Yeah. Okay, great. So guys, uh, I guess I'll take any final questions, even though we're out of goodies, but before we close this segment, I'm gonna give you guys a chance to get it all out. Yeah, make sure you have all your questions answered. Otherwise, Thanks for stopping by. Uh, we'll be doing this segment uh, over the course of E3, so you guys can catch us again tomorrow and on Thursday. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.